Hi everyone, today I am going to be making little bits and bobs for the um, journal. I'm not actually working on a, a page. I'm doing some preparation for the page. I'm going to decorate, a, I'm calling it the Enchanted Forest. I'm going to decorate some lettering which I'm going to put on the front once it's dry. I'm going to make some little cards which I have sewn around with different sorts of stitching. You see, I'm going to do some stamping on those uh, to use within the journal. Um, I'm also going to decorate some of these little wooden embellishments up. Um, the next picture that I'm going to be using is this fox. Um, let's see if we bring it up a bit nearer. It's got little daisies around his head and some little blue butterflies. So I'm going to incorporate that somehow on this page. Um, so I've got some little wooden flowers which I'm going to paint and decorate like daisies. Um, I've got found these little toadstools. I've been having a rummage in my stuff. So I found these little toadstools and that they're really bright when they are, that shows up too well, really, really white and too much. So I've just gone over it with a little bit of distressed ink just to tone it down a little bit. So I might incorporate some of those into this as well. Um, I've dug out some stamps, which are woodlandy, foresty. I'm really late doing this video. I was going to do it earlier, but I made myself some spicy noodles. And I thought I'd video after that, but it made my nose run really bad and I didn't want to be sniffing on film. So that's why I am late doing this video. So lesson there, don't eat just before you're doing a video. So cracking on i'm going to do this lettering first uh i had a little play earlier um on a wooden feather and i want to do a goldy color because it's going on the front so i've used uh the gilding wax in the gold that i've been using throughout the journal which is what i want the base color for and then I went rubbaging in my nail varnishes to see what I've got left. And I found these two. One's a gold glittery and the other one's, it's a little more orangey, but it's got bigger pieces in. So I thought, try it first. And I did this side, which is really pretty and quite light. And I don't know if that's going to pick that up quite sparkly. And then the other side is what I used orange, but I've decided to go with the gold aside because I think it just goes with the journal because the lettering is going to be up there really well and makes it stand out so that's what I've decided to go with oh I've also I did a little bit of coffee staining this morning on the pages that I'd already got I may have to change the clasp on this because it's so fiddly and um I did some leaf printing. So I've got some old leaves and I just put some coffee on it and dabbed it on to one of you. And I also, I've reduced down how many pages I'm going to do five in between because otherwise I'm not going to fit all these dividers in. I also did a little bit on the tracing paper, which came out really nice with some stencils. Uh, so pleased with some oak leaves. That was just another stencil. Uh, I may do some stamping in the corner of some of these pages and then the oak leaves again. Um, I do need to get some more uh, copy paper and do another load, big batch of... That's another one on, on the tracing paper. I do need to do another big batch of copy dyed paper because basically I've run out now got enough for probably a new, another two sections. Okay, let's start doing something. So I'm calling it the Enchanted I didn't have enough letters um, to do it all in the same lettering. However, it wouldn't have fitted on anyway, I don't think. Um, so let's just put the spelling back in order. There we go, the Enchanted Forest. So just using my finger, I'm going to cover 
the lettering with the gold. Could have done this off camera, couldn't I? This was going to take a while. Apologies as well if you can hear my dog snoring. It's on the sofa. I've lit the fire in here so it is toasty warm in here. We came and got on the sofa. I've ordered some little charms um, to go with this journal. I do have one or two, but I've ordered some really nice little woodlandy charms. Um, I want to put lots of dangles in. I think I'm going to make um, a spine dangle as well, one of my tassels for it. I do like making them and I just think they make it look super special. And then uh, I think once I've gone to that stage, that'll be the last thing that I do. I'll uh, pop it up for sale. Um, I think I'm going to put it on my my Facebook page when I sell it. I keep saying I'm going to set up uh, an Etsy shop. Um, I have so many unfinished things at the moment that I really need to get those finished and then I feel I can set it up. But I think I'm holding tight until... I get my, my studio, she shed, whatever it's going to be outside. Um, now the weather's getting towards the end of winter, hopefully. We'll be able to start getting outside and clearing the area. And They have them back in stock now, I think, so that's quite exciting. Okay. Let's finish these off. I will any excess that I have around the letters in the in on the edges I will just waft over and take that off with a brush just so the edges are nice and sharp. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what I was going to do before I started, make a cup of tea. Never mind. Always need a cup of tea. But then I make it and forget about it. It goes cold. Okie dokie. So. I thought I would sew round all the little tags that I was making or journaling cards. Because that is so noisy and it is not exciting to watch. I suppose this isn't either really. Um, last one. Okay, oh, I thought I'd snap that then. Hmm. Okay, so that's all the gold on. Let's give fingers a wipe because otherwise everything gets covered in it. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to do all of these now because this is going to be so boring for you to watch. However, I'm just going to show you a couple of them. So, Let's try and stay in shot, Sarah. Just going to dab over them with the gold glitter nail varnish. And then I'm going to pop them down and let them dry. I used my heat gun on them earlier when I made the uh, feather. Sorry, I don't even know if I'm in shot there. There we go. And it also puts a nice sheen on it, so it finishes them off quite nicely. And before the next video, I will probably stick these onto the front and then I'll show you once I've got them on. Uh, 
thought it'd be nice to show you what I do. Yeah. If I just do forest and then I'll leave the smaller ones to do later and we'll crack on with something else. Perhaps It's so useful if you've got old nail varnishes for things like this. I think if I do next I'm going to do the stamping uh, on the journaling cards that I've sewn round. Now I may actually use a different coloured glitter glue on the enchanted one. Call that green, I might use that on there, make it stand out. Right, I'm not going to do any more of that for now. <clears throat> so that's those are just going to be out of the way and drying. So German cards, let's move those. I definitely I'm going to do those in a different colour. Okay. You just know I'm going to forget that they're there if I don't move them and stick them to a journaling card. I do remember to take my glass board off so that it's not glaring. No. There we go. Okay. So I just cut up two pieces of card. Some are just a little bit larger, just a fraction than the others. And I've just done different sorts of stitches, whatever's on my sewing machine. It's a really cheap one. Um, and gone round all of those. So that's, that's nothing exciting, but that's what I did with them. And then I was thinking, I've got some really nice leaf um stamps here I think do I think these were free with a magazine I occasionally get the magazine sorry about the glare I occasionally buy the magazines and I buy them purely for if they've got stamps in them or stencils that I want because it's cheaper to do it that way than it is to go out and buy um the stamps usually now I'm just thinking, am I going to do this with black or with a brown ink? I'm going to try both. Let's get a black out. I just use a memento. Oh, I don't even know where I got this from or when I got it. It's donkey's years old. But it's still going strong. So, right, let's give that a go. Let's try the... Let's try the black. I'm no great stamper, so I apologise for anybody who is. Probably be screaming at me why I'm doing it like that. So let's just press that down. <clears throat> and I think what I'll do, I've got some sari silk somewhere in green. Oh, that's quite cute. See that? Um, and I think I may just, let's try this one, um, 
do a little tag tab at the top. Let's take that one off. One on. Try a different legend this time. Let's try that one. I might try this one in uh, walnut stain and see how it comes out. Oh, is there a right or wrong way of getting your ink on? Probably that way is the better way. I'll get it off the block. Okay. This one down and just see see how this looks. Am I in frame even? I'm so sorry. There. All right. So I think I prefer it with the brown actually. There. That is come out really nicely okay then let's have a look what else we have I just grabbed a few that looked a little bit all to me it's supposed to be enchanted forest not just got this one I wonder if we can do this might be quite cute um I do it that way is it gonna fit on that one let's have a look is it on the right way Sarah oh, it's gonna be just a we can do this right I'm gonna go with the walnut stain again because that looked really nice I think I've used this one when I did the fairy journal that I made. This stamp. But I think it would be quite cute on here. Right, let's let's just go for it. Oh, she's out of frame again. I perhaps need to move my camera. I always work on the edge of my desk, that's probably why. See the image there, it's a little fairy door with a toadstool. I think I'm going to let that one dry and I might just enhance the little toadstools, uh, put a little bit of colour through it here and there. I like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm going to put that straight back because this is what I'm really bad for. I do not put my stamps back. Um, let's stick that one back in there. And I saw a toadstool. There we go. Let's try that one. Let's put that out of the way. Okay, I'll grab another card. Go for the same corner, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna ignore it. We'll see who it is, but I'm not answering it. Apologies for that. My phone was doing weird things and it was a sales call. So, right, that's those. Um, I'll maybe do one with a little... 
could do a toadstool. Why not? Let's pop one under there. I think it's got there. It's got a paper, little paper backing with a sticky on it. So we'll take the paper off and then just use glue on top of that. I'm going to use Fabri Tac. So I'm going to let that go and set because otherwise it'll be popping off or sliding off. Now I think with these, I'm just going to get a little bit of what have I got here? A little bit of sari silk and just do fold it over and do a little tab. Uh, Sew them. No, I'm gonna pop a hole on it. Let's just go below the stitching. Oh, let's centralise it perhaps. <laughs> oh dear, Sarah. No idea where my brain is today. Okay. You can either just put a little stitch across there to hold it on, or put a little brad on it, or glue it, or tie it. I'm going with the tie option. There. And I think I would just go around the edges. I'm going to put the black away because I'm going to end up doing black ink on everything otherwise. Let's just go around the edges with some walnut stain. And then same on the back. And that's some writing space there on the back and these can be into the journal. I'm making a pocket at the front and the back. I may do some pockets on one of the dividers. Uh, I haven't actually decided. Let's just darken that up a little bit more. Gently just going to go over that with walnut stain. There we go. And that's one of the little tags that can go in. Oh, I've got gold nails now, look. That can go into the journal. Right, I'm not going to make any more of those on camera. I'm going to pop on to the next thing that I was hoping to do. And that is, I'm going to make some daisies. So I have some little wooden dots. So I'm going to use the small ones, maybe, for the centres. I've got a little bit of white and a little bit of, oh, I don't even know what it is, ochre. I'm looking forward to do this. And I'm going to paint I'm going to paint these into daisies. I hope my head's not coming in there because I haven't even brushed my hair today. Uh, let's have a look. I've got a couple of little brushes. So first of all, I'm going to do the, the white. And these are just some cheap acrylic paints I bought from the works. It hasn't got to be really, really shiny white because I am going to go over it, of course, with some glitter nail varnish. Um, I just wanted to get that really brownie colour off. 
Not so good. And these are going to be on the next divider with the fox. Um, and he has got little daisies all dangling over him. I think he's walked through some um, some vines that has some little flowers on. So I thought I'd got these. It'd be quite sweet to just make some little daisies. And it'll, they'll stand out if I put them in the corner to decorate the page. I'm just, oh, I don't know, sorry if you can't say, come in. So I'm just going over the edges where it's brown. It's nothing fancy, it's, oh, do you know what else I could have used for this, which probably would have worked probably a bit better, is gesso. There we go. And then I'm going to stick on the little centrepiece. with a little bit of Fabri-Tac. Of course, this is going to stick to everything apart from the flower. There. And once that's in the centre, I am going to use the ochre, is it? Ochre. Yellow. So it really isn't anything fancy at all. It is just dabbing a little bit of acrylic paint onto there. And I'm going to make several of these. Just push that into the centre again. And then just to finish them off, I will use the oh, remnants. I have hardly got any of this left. I'm going to have to go to the, uh, there's a cheap uh, nail varnish store near us. And I'm going to have to go and get some glitteries from there, I think. And then I am just going to go over the outsides of these petals. Do you can see that? Is it? Is it showing up? It looks really pretty. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera though. I hope it is. So I'm not doing the yellow centre, I'm just going to do the petals. Let me see if I can get the light on it. Yeah. That's one of our little, our little daisies. I'll pop that over there. So they are going to go surrounding the fox i'm going to make a few more of them with all these i think i will also do one or two little blue ones and i'm also going to where's the butterfly i'm going to do a really blue butterfly uh let's have a look so that's a body paint that is probably not going to be the best choice here let's just find a Heel. Let's use that. I'm going to be really naughty and put it on my block. Just a tiny little blob there. 
So I'm going to paint this butterfly teal and then of course again I'm going to highlight it with, I mean it's a sparkly paint anyway, it's a metallic, I don't know if you can see, you just about to see that shimmering. Um, I think these little wooden shapes and that, again I got these, I think it was from the works, you get them in little boxes and you get all different sorts. I think they're fantastic for just emphasising things on your page, just giving it a little bit of something else, a little bit of 3D. I use them a lot on my covers when I'm doing my mixed media covers. I've got a box full of all different wooden shapes and frames and edge pieces and all sorts okay so that's quite, quite boring in a minute it's a solid color i think what i'm going to do though i'm going to do the body and the antenna and i will use embossing powder to do that to really glaze those up and then on the wings i'm going to highlight it with little bits of uh, nail polish I think I'll do that now, let that dry, and then once that's dry, I can do the embossing. So, don't want to do the antenna, so I'm just going to go, let me get in a shot, round the edges of the wings. So where it's filled in the middle, I'm not going to do. I'm literally just going around this outside edge of the wings. on this edge do not want to get the antenna because I want to do that in a black embossing powder and that will really make that pop I think so you see there I've just gone round the outside edges of the butterfly's wings So, I'm going to let that dry, and because otherwise the embossing powder will stick to everything. And I have got some black, and I'm just going to go um, I've got, it's a black with some black sparkle, it's called. I'm going to uh, that oh, oh my goodness, that has got to dry because otherwise that's just going to stick to where the um nail varnishes that I've just put on there. So I'm just going to do the body and the antenna in the black sparkle and see if that makes that pop a little bit more. I think that today is where I'm going to stop. I will finish all these little bits off that I've started and then in the next video where I will put together the... Um, I found another one of the letters must be stuck to something. I will start putting together this page uh, which is the next divider and using some of these pieces that we've made today or that you've watched me make today um, and see how it all comes together. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye!